Hi guys, Mary here. Yesterday I put out a video on the possibility of hurricanes. Um, and I feel like uh, I may have induced some fear and I don't want to add fear to the collective. So I meditated on that this morning at the beach. And what I was shown was a grid, a crystal grid. A couple years back I was watching Amanda Ellis and she suggested crystal grids as a way of um, empowering yourself um, in case of any natural disasters or anything of that nature. And I did. I built a crystal grid for each hurricane, Hurricane Irma and Maria. And um, so I'm going to show you the crystal grid that I built. And um, the most important thing here is your intention. So you want to put your intention into your grid. And it doesn't have to be anything um, spectacular. <laughs> you can use what you have around your house. Um, I happen to have amethyst crystals. So um, these little amethyst crystals. And I, I'm using these um, selenite wands. So I built a grid in a square because the square is um, all about foundation. And I have, I'm going to show you, before I lift up this grid, because it's kind of heavy, I've written the word safety. And I put this just in the center of my grid. And I'll show you, you know, I'll put the camera down a little. Okay. So this is my grid, and you can see it's in a square, and I have the each amethyst um, uh, at the corner of the square, and then each um, selenite wand creating a square, and then I have the in the middle a taller crystal, and then the word safety is in the middle. So what I do is I take my um, selenite wand, where is it? And I put my intention into the grid, and as I do so, I'm just um, circling this in a clockwise motion to each crystal on the grid with my intention to keep my house safe, to keep us safe, my pets, my family. Okay? So you can do that, and then you can add anything from nature. You can add like uh, a seashell. This is kind of a big one, but you can put a seashell on your grid. You can put like a feather on your grid, anything that you choose. So this is just a way of, you know, um, putting your intention into a crystal grid. And crystals, um, crystals hold energy. So you're putting your energy into that crystal grid. And what I did was I put this in the center of my home and you can do that as well. So it worked for me. I can't say that it was the grid that saved us <laughs> for sure, but I know that it made me feel like I was doing something, you know, other than all the normal things you do before a hurricane, right? But um, I believe in crystal grids. I use them all the time. You can even just put a crystal in each corner of your home. I don't do that because I have dog. I have three dogs, and they'll just like they'll chew them. <laughs> um, one thing I'll say is to try to use the same color crystal in your grid if you can, because um, it helps to keep the energy focused and not too chaotic. If that makes sense. Okay. So I just wanted to come and show you that. Um, that's what Spirit guided me to do today. Uh, there's already enough fear in the collective. And with this full moon, excuse me, full moon in Scorpio, I feel like a lot of us are being triggered and maybe a little irritable. Stuff's coming up that we need to deal with, right? So I've been doing a lot of shadow work and I'll continue to do so this week. And I've been using that um, six step process from Choose Again and I'll put that down in the um, description box below. There's a YouTube video, so you can use that. Um, and of course, I, I use the 12 step program and step four is, is similar. Um, step four is about um, looking into your defects of character. And I do that 
continuously because I am in the program. But um, so it's a similar thing. You don't want to, what should I say, sweep these things under the rug. They need to be dealt with so that you can purge it and bring more light into, into your vessel and into your um, emotional body. Let's see. Oh, I wanted to mention that it's no coincidence that the what's going on with the women's rights in this country, it's the fear. So I'm going to try to explain this. As we awaken and the light is shining brighter and brighter and we're waking up as a collective, the darker energies that are there are, I guess, in fear. And so you're going to find that these energies are going to rise up because they're afraid of the light. Um, that's what I believe anyway. So it's no coincidence that the women's rights and the pro-choice stuff is coming up right now. So what I would say is, I'm thinking back to a vision I had about six months ago of women climbing a mountain together. So if you can look at it this way, this is a, ch a chance for women to come together um, in our communities and to stand for our rights. Um, try not to be in that fear. When you're in fear, it comes out as anger. And when you try to get into your heart in a place of love, you can still make change. It doesn't have to, to come from that place of fear. So work with your communities, try to gather together, and make positive um, steps towards change if that's, if that's something that you're passionate about. Um, let me see if there's anything else. I write notes on my little whiteboard <laughs> so I don't forget anything. But I think that's all I want to say. Um, I have some things that I'm going to do in my community. And um, for me, it's about donating money to organizations that I think are um, helpful to women's rights. And um, of course, making phone calls. I get hung up on a lot, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll just keep calling. Um, do what you can, and then try not to stay in that anger and fear, but try to try to be in love, thinking about the people and the women that come after you, so your daughters, your granddaughters, kind of paying back our grandparents and parents who fought for our rights. Um, uh, what did I want to say? Don't forget the men in your life as well. We, we can't group all of the men together. Um, my husband has always been a champion of human rights um, and certainly uh, women's rights. So there are men out there. This is all about the divine feminine coming into the planet and um, try to see it from a higher perspective and bring in the men as well. Okay? Alright, I hope that you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Take care.